This dive watch is hardcore, yet very wearable. We're going to talk about all of this today. It's time to get hands on with the Prezidus A5 UDT OG 107 NATO. Let's go ahead and tell the time. I'm wearing my brother's Stova Classic Flieger. Beautiful German pilot's watch. I've already done a review on this piece. It is 1.09 p.m., almost 1.10. Let's get down to business. So when we go to the watchmaker's website, Presidus claims that the A5 UDT was designed to meet an operational need that has existed ever since men could dive. Reliable timekeeping underwater. And, you know, as a watch reviewer, outside looking in, uh, dive watches seem to be like the most popular, like, prominent category of wrist watches ever. They're just the most common watch that, that you know, micro brands make. They seem to be the most common watch that a lot of other watchmakers make. And they're incredibly popular with the public, right? A, a lot of people, when they think of a wristwatch, they think of the archetype of a dive watch with the rotating bezel and, uh, you know, three o'clock crown, some crown guards, whatever. Although dive watches seem to be super common, this Presidus A5 UDT has done something that it seems like a lot of other watchmakers struggle with, and that's making a hardcore, functional, tough dive watch with extreme design. I mean, this has the capped crown and the chain, uh, but also being able to make the watch very, very wearable. So as we close in on the watch's most prominent feature, which is this oversized crown cap and the chain, um, you might initially think Invicta Russian Diver. Right, I mean, that, that's a very <laughs> common watch that utilizes this design, although other watchmakers throughout history have used a capped crown with a chain retaining that crown. So, or excuse me, retaining that crown cover because this does not have a threaded crown. This has a push-pull crown. This is a crown cap that is threaded into the case sealing that push-pull crown. And again, this cap is retained by a chain. Now, this is set apart from something like an Invicta Russian Diver because this watch is not 52 millimeters. It's not even 40 millimeters. This watch has a 38 millimeter case. So before I gush any further, I feel like we should jump into the specs and then you know I'll give you my opinion in the pros and cons. But, but let's learn more about the watch first. This watch has a case diameter of 38 millimeters. We just mentioned that. The lug to lug is 41.5 millimeters. The case thickness is 12.5 millimeters. Stainless steel case, sandblasted finish, 20 millimeter lug width with a 20 millimeter strap, of course. And the glass is double dome sapphire with anti-reflective coating. This watch is powered by a Swiss made Soprod P024 automatic movement. And again, it has a 200 meter water resistance rating. All of this for just under $600 coming in at 595 buckaroos. And uh, there's a whole lot to like about this watch, but you know, I'll give you my opinions in the pros and cons, so let's go. Okay, so the first pro is that uh, this watch has impeccable dimensions, okay? Uh, and for a watch that has some admittedly extreme design choices, you know, right around here, the watch is still not cumbersome at all. Very, very comfortable, 38 millimeters on my seven and a half inch wrist. Um, I'm a huge fan of this dive watch. It's just fun, it's something different. And uh, again, the dimensions, very, very nice. Now you've already seen close-ups, but I'm gonna get close up here and uh, move it around a bit. Next pro is that the signage, you know, the logo and the uh, model designation here on the dial, it's very, very subtle. If you look at it straight on, you might miss the fact that there's even text on the dial. And uh, what's our biggest complaint with most sports watches? Paragraphs of text. Prejudice figured this out and uh, you know did the opposite. They made all their font and signage kind of stealthy. It's kind of just pressed out on that dial, but it's black. It, it color matches with the case. So you have to move the watch around for the light to pick up uh, that raised signage for you to even see it. So I love that they chose to be very understated with the text on the dial. The next pro is that the crown cover or the crown cap has silky smooth threading, okay? Uh, this is a push-pull crown. 
And another thing is that there seems to be a very positive seal on this push-pull crown. So even if you didn't thread it, um, I feel like this, this would still have a pretty decent shot at uh, limiting water getting into the case. But why, why, why risk it, right? You have this big old crown cover, just, just thread this up. Very, very silky smooth, um, not gritty, not grainy, doesn't feel disgusting when you actuate it. Uh, just a very, very nice, comfortable watch uh, and, and to actuate and to wear. All right, so check it out. The next pro is that this watch has pretty decent loom. It's just been chilling here with the uh, window open and it already has some nice day glow, but we're gonna go burn it real quick. Again, I, I've ordered a new UV torch, but it hasn't come in yet. And just with that little hit from the flashlight, you can see very, very nice glow. Um, yeah, loom, absolutely functional. Great job, Presidus. And here are the two final pros about this watch. This beveled cut on the crystal and how it just flows into the case. Ooh. Even get some nice yummy distortion there. Very, very satisfying. And then as we turn the watch to its side, you see drilled lugs. They've done it. A micro brand finally did it. They gave it proper drilled lugs. And you might want to utilize those drilled lugs to take this strap off. And I'm going to tell you why when we get into the cons. First con, it might not be big enough for people who do want an extreme diver uh, with gargantuan sizing. And to those people, I'd say, yeah, maybe check out the Invicta Russian Diver. Um, the next con would be that the capped crown and chain might be a bit too extreme for people who want a more subtle dive watch. And for that, uh, I would tell those people, you know, maybe check out something more tame, like this main watch that we literally just reviewed. I mean, this is just the archetype of a classic vintage dive watch, right? So if you don't want uh, an extreme design, go with this. If you are sick of the archetype, go with this. It's kind of, you know, simple. And the final con would be that this factory strap is too short for people with seven and a half inch wrists or larger, and I'm gonna explain right now. So check it out, I have just above seven and a half inch wrists, and the one issue with nylon straps, or NATOs, I don't know if we're allowed to say that, um, is that it all has to do with the excess length here. Man, it's all about that excess length, <laughs> that's what she said. Um, it's just not enough. It's not big enough. What are you talking about, it's average, God. Um, at this length, I would just cut it because you can't tuck it back into the keepers. Like this little tiny amount, it's just gonna flop back out. It's just really annoying. It's in that awkward amount. So you're either gonna wear it like this if you have wrists my size or larger, or you're going to cut it, which defeats the purpose of wearing a NATO strap because you wanna be able to utilize the excess length if you're gonna put it over a coat or whatever. Um, so the way I would probably deal with this is utilizing those drilled lugs, popping it off and putting it on like a wrist candy watch club NATO. Full disclosure, they have been a sponsor of my channel, but not currently. Um, but those are the only uh, nylon straps that I enjoy wearing because the length is mm, mm, just mm. Ooh. all in all this prejudice a5, UDT, OG, 107, NATO is just a joy to play with and wear. It's a proper diver that won't break the bank. Everything works the way it should. The design language is very deliberate and linear. Um, it, it, it's something different. Like, yes, you do see watches that utilize this capped crown design, um, but this is just, it's, it's more wearable than most of the options out there being 38 millimeters. Um, it's sleek, it's tough, just a no brainer for, for under $600, honestly. If you're looking for a unique uh, dive watch and uh, kind of has some like military-esque vibes, this was developed, I mean the UDT um, is, is for underwater demolition teams and this was, I guess, designed after those uh, early teams in World War II. 
Um, but it, it's it's just a very very cool watch. And again, for six hundred bucks, the specs totally match up with that. The execution matches up with that. Uh, I think it's great. But you guys let me know what you think. Please leave me a comment if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon because we upload pretty much once a day, sometimes twice a day on this channel. And become a channel member. It's $4.99 a month. You get access to that members only Discord chat and some extra content. So I will see you over there, guys. Thank you. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it.